الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله قال الله سبحانه وتعالى في كتابه اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء اتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد يا برادرز اند سيسترز السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته today i intend to talk to you about a very complicated concept in islamic legal thinking called maslaha maslaha musalla also known as the Maliki school of thought as this tasla but before that i want to share with you an ayah from the quran bismillahir rahmanir rahim allahu waliyul ladina amanu yukhrijuhum min az-zulumati ila an-nur wal ladina kafaru awliya'uhum at-taghut yukhriju yukhrijunahu min an-nur ila az-zulumat ulaika ashabu an-nar hum fiha khalidun In this ayah, which is in the second chapter of Surah Al-Baqarah, the verse number is 257. The Quran says, Bismillah, Allah, waliyul lazina amanu yukrijuhum min al-zulumati al-nur. That God is the friend. God is the friend of those who believe, and as a reward for that belief, or as a condition of that belief, <coughs> He extracts them from darkness and brings them into light. and i find this statement very profound because to me it links belief with enlightenment it means that if you are a true believer you must be a very enlightened person and if you are not enlightened then perhaps there is something unfinished in the project of your belief and the verse also implies that the opposite is true that those of you who do not believe in god god does not befriend them but they are befriended by false ideologies false gods sometimes even nationalism and this ism and that ism and they become loyal to these ideologies and these ideologies only take them away from enlightenment into darkness from a position where they would believe in the good of everyone to a position where they would believe in the good of their in group and what is also important here is that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that he's not just talking about believers but he's talking about defending these believers so who are these believers who are these enlightened people who are they what are the characteristics of these enlightened people all religions all religions use a lot of uh, play with the idea of light so light and darkness are common metaphors Uh, in discussion of religious discourses in nearly all religions that at least I know of in the Quran itself and in the Muslim thought it also has special places for example you know the verse allahu nur samawati wa ard where allah subhanahu wa taala is the light of the heavens and the earth we also believe that perhaps the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was created from the light of god and therefore the universe is also a creation from that extended light of god but who are these people who are enlightened and how do we recognize them there are many ways across the quran you will find that god consistently refers to people who believe as people who think people who believe as people who do who use their reason people who think as people who are enlightened it has never separated intellectual development from a spiritual development the quran has always integrated intellectual development with spiritual development for example in verse 35 from chapter 29 allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says bismillahir rahmanir rahim wa laqad tarakna minha ayatan bayyana li 